Hi YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe and click the cheeky little bell to receive notifications. I'm not even paying you, but that's sick. What a move. And this world will burn. Clash with the ultimate champion? It's a fight kill! Yes! Let's freaking go, dude! 295 kills! Let's go four best in front kicks! And more! Enough! I will finish this myself. He just gets up and punches us? Wait! Hey everyone! Well, Jack, senior game designer and narrative overlord for the Tech Half Run. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. I'm so excited about this. This is going to be fantastic. I am Zook. Okay, we're going to put on our Jad costume. We're going to sneak in. We're just going to borrow the sword. We're going to tell them we're there to polish it, and then I'm going to run out with it. So, um, but we really wanted to try something different. So, um, I'll talk a bit about it now, but of course, like, we know that the fight caves and the fight kill, for example, they are mini games. They're safe death. Um, Zekar front is not. Not a safe um, death. Okay. It's an actual boss encounter. Therefore, if you die, Interesting. You, will, you will head to death's office unless you die on the week of release. Um, so we, we wanted to make sure that this was some content. Like as a boss encounter, you felt like you wanted to repeat just like your other bosses from uh, within the um, All God Wars or just any of your you know your bosses over the recent years so we put a lot of focus into making it feel like something that you really want to achieve you want to try to get some fast times um we wanted to stick through to what, what players are familiar with with of course like the uh, fight caves and fight kiln being wave based and having um you know they kind of own the cape slot um so as mm -hmm. you saw in the trailer you know we, we wanted to keep that here i'm very glad um, they're doing capes and something else we really wanted to look at like what we learned from looking at um release of something like Kerapak, um that when you're engaging in this content, we know that you're going to fail. Um, you know, that's just, it, it's meant to be hard. Um, okay, good. And we don't want you to feel like you've committed a long, a long period of time and then you've lost out. So we've treated this bit of content quite like what you'd consider an elite dungeon uh, in the sense that as you progress through it, you will earn loot, which stores up. So if you fail, you don't completely lose out. Okay. Sort of like in terms of that sort of progression. That's interesting. Um, I consider it very much like an elite dungeon. Um, so you see Mod Ramen's there just slapping up minions. He's gaining loot right now. Um, you just can't see it. He's got it filtered. Um, but um, the Zekhar are very, very similar to the Tokhar. However, these are fighters, not uh, builders. So they do have some combat upgrades, let's say. Um, he's splashing, so but he's not overloaded. As an example, I don't want to kind of go into everything. I want players to figure out a lot of it, but I think 90%, if not all of the minions, have some kind of special ability now um, or something that makes them more unique. So it is very much a harder experience um, while still kind of staying I true to its like origins. I feel like sticky bombs and in chins. Fight Caves and Fight Kill. This looks like a range boss um, so far, for sure. There are a few uh, extra challenges whilst you're in here, let's say. Um, I don't <laughs> really want to go too much into what they are, but essentially. Um, Zuck's not just going to kind of sit there and do nothing the whole time, right? So he's he's going to get, let's say, involved um, <laughs> and offer, offer the player some kind of challenge. It also looks so, like the mobs can walk through each other. You, you, you'll get up to Zuck. Oh my god, the positioning! Times, but, um, he's a positioning god! We've added checkpoints. Um, I think Ryan <laughs> mentioned this earlier, but we've added checkpoints for this kind of purpose. So you can get to Zuck, be like, cool, I've done that, and now um, I can keep dying, but I keep coming back to Zuck. Um, until I kill him, much like Elite Dungeon 3, you get up to uh, Ambassador, you die, you can just go straight back and try him again. So uh, I'm sure so uh, many people out there are actually probably really here, thrilled to hear about uh, checkpoints in, in something like this. Um, there may also be some people um, out I'm there who feel that, like that it devalues maybe what the, made the cave and the kiln special. Yeah, that's what I was um, going to say. How have you balanced that? How have you approached that, Mod Ryan? Really in, good question. In the way from you Hulley. kind of designed the system. Um, so on the checkpoint front, um, we believe it's important to have in this sort of thing because we want you to feel like you can take part and fail and continue. Um, but of course, we do have um, extra things for you know if you can do it without using checkpoints. Um, okay, that's good. And also, of course, we have a hard mode, um, which just but to unlock hard mode, you do have to complete the entire thing without using a checkpoint. 
Um, nice. We had, we had flawless run. There's a bit more in it. We're not going to go into details. But nice. Okay. The whole thing, That's good. Um, to unlock the hard mode. And I wonder if hard mode will let you out. And then the hard mode encounter itself doesn't have a checkpoint. Good stuff. Um, except for Prezar. So you have to go all the way Ooh. up. Ooh. Okay. Uh, whereas in normal mode, I'm really surprised there's checkpointing uh, right before the last boss uh, for the sole reason um, that, um, and, um, yeah, obviously, like in event management oh, was a big thing for like the fight caves okay. and the fight kiln, right? And you're going to be able to say, back, uh, yeah, you know, se, having a hard mode, I know is going to be music to the ears of really a lot of people there. Um, Sponge, what's different about hard mode, uh, other than the checkpoints that yeah, this um, is the what Ryan stuff. just described? Um, it's harder, uh, no, uh, so <laughs> enemies, enemies will have their stats, um, as a start. Uh, as Maud Ryan said, there's only the single checkpoint. Um, loot is better, um, including the chance to get a piece of Zuck's sword. Um, a chance. And if you go flawless in hard mode as well, uh, you get the right to wear the best cape in the game. Best cape in the game. Okay, cool. So this is the exact <laughs> kill. Um, it means something <laughs> in Zar. I'll let players figure that out. Um, He's not Big holding it right, I don't think. Sword, Is he? Um, I don't think that's how it's supposed to be held. No, wait, it's in the ground. Um, it's clipping it into the floor. It is an obsidian weapon, which means the Berserker necklace does work with it. Um, and it has a special attack. Wait, Berserker uh, necklace special works? special attack, Igneous Cleave. Um, it hits for a chunk of damage and then okay. also puts a bleed on the target. Um, this bleed hits pretty well. Um, and... The damage it deals increases the longer it goes on. Three pieces, very much like Ambi. Uh, you'll get them in order. In an Three order. piece in order. Okay. Um, depending on which one you start with. Um, there's actually, and you probably got a glimpse of this in the trailer, four of them, right? Do you want to start showcasing those for us, Raman? I'm surprised um, yes, there's not particles. This, this I would say that's really uh, surprising. It requires you to have uh, completed normal mode, um, I believe, without any checkpoints um, to gain the item required to upgrade the capes from the kiln so you still need the, oh uh, boy kiln okay cape before you're able to obtain this one so you have to um combine them together maybe and here there's the final uh, one okay the combined version there are the particles uh, which is you must complete the hard mode encounter um flawlessly be able to combine all three of the capes to basically create the hybrid version uh, so this is the cape the cape to wear Seeing a lot of love for Shadow. Yeah, Shadow is the best. It's insane. Okay, do you know what? Yeah. Hold up. I'm, I'm Here's why Shadow isn't Barrows. the best to be. Barrows, Hold the up. kind of sickly green look is apparently my thing. Go <laughs> figure. We're saying it. We're saying our favorites, not the ones we can afford. Yeah. <laughs> Does it not literally look like? I can't afford any of them, so I'd be out Bro. straight away. Bro, it's literally a twenty mil doesn't get you four. Yeah, lots of third age, lots of shadow. No shot. <laughs> My five-year-old will look at this. Look at this list of swords. Wait a second. One and go, Daddy, Daddy, look. Daddy, it's, it's B Knight. I really like. So yeah, you got oh wow! Molten. I haven't seen the procedure. Times? Really nice skin for him. Very cool. Oh um, he's got, he's got his own no. Sword as well. The ones he onesie stays on for the whole release week. I don't want to say. We I get little Zuck. Whole thing. I'm gonna be talking after this. Magic basic ability. Um, it's a point and click ability. So, this you target a tile or an NPC and it essentially lights up the area around it. Uh, it creates a five by five zone um, okay. that over eight seconds, eight seconds? No, over nine seconds. 9.6 seconds. Just over nine. Uh, it'll hit everything in that five by five zone up to eight times. Um, it deals high damage. Um, however, if the target moves out of that zone, it stops taking damage. Um, so it's kind of uh, it. risk reward. If you're against something hyper mobile, it's not going to do much. But if you're against something static, it's going to be a big ability to go to. Oh, that looks sick! There you go. I'm going to see. Oh, there there is an action. That looks really cool. That's just going to light up that area. <laughs> Magic is going to be um, bored out of this. Final item that Zuck can drop. <laughs> Magic's going to be bored. Scripture of Fool. Um, Scripture of Fool. Okay. Is Crit another chance? Elder God book. Um, similar to previous books, there's a 6.6% chance of activating on hit. Um, I've updated the tooltips for these, so they should Ooh. all now tell you the correct chance to hit, including the last ones. Because um, I know there was some confusion between players on how how often they hit. Um, this, when active, when it triggers, uh, it has it will increase the player's damage by 20%, similar to Berserk. Okay. Um, but causing you to take 10% more damage for the duration. 
Um, so it's, it's like a mini berserk, essentially. Um, you know, pull into that kind of berserker theme that, that Zuck has. From what we've showed, uh, the sword is the hard mode exclusive along with the combined cape. Um, yep. The standard capes are upgrades to your kiln capes, assuming you do the run um, without using checkpoints. And everything else is just a, you killed Zuck, here's a chance at loot, he can get the, the remainder. With this up today, update, we introduce uh, Pernix Quiver Fragments and the Pernix Quiver. Uh, Pernix, Pernix Quiver? Quiver is fragments. what you want if you're ranging now. It's gonna have um, bolts and arrows. This is a maybe. brand new quiver with two ammo slots. Yep. Um, nice. Nicely will done, automatically guys. Automatically swap to match your range style. So if you have a bolt and an arrow in there, when you switch to a bow, it will yes. use the arrows. But you got the when pet. You switch to a crossbow, you got the, the fucking pet. Um, and we're gonna give you a nifty little ability that lets you swap <laughs> as well. Um, so if you have two sets of bolts in there, you can just tap an ability and it'll swap. What a monster! Um, sorry. Yep. The quiver uses a hundred fragments, um, and you get the fragments from tier three troves with a fully upgraded ring. Oh, it's from um, tier three troves. Okay, so we're gonna have to bring the ring with us. Okay. Yeah, and just to we're check, you can earn those fragments on any front, as long as you uh, have the Pontifex Shadow Ring in an overpowered state, right? It's not a full front exclusive, right? It's okay, so that's exactly it, you know a 1% I mean? DPS yeah, increase to range, as, as well as a good quality of life. You can get it from any tier three troves. Okay. However, when you unlock a quiver, it becomes untradeable. Um, you can have multiple, it just means you'll have to buy multiple. Oh, they're um, tradable too. You can't mm -hmm. get rid of it. There's one I want to hit with you straight away with, Ryan, before you go into the ones you've already grabbed, which is, can you confirm if this is a solo boss, a duo boss, a group boss, how, you know, just confirm Let's for definite yep. what the content is for everyone. Yeah, so it's a, it's a solo encounter. Um, solo. solo only. Yeah, that's it. For my solo only Iron Man. Boss in risk of your life. Um, so first of all, the idea is tackled by a concept artist. Can I just say, in this people case, are dumb. Mod Fox did this awesome this is literally and honestly, a singular like, onyx! Fan, Six mil? And as as it's literally an onyx necklace! Big project oh RuneScape. 14 mil?! Boss, honestly. Um, Tro I'm, I'm, I might butcher it, because I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's 16 and then Zuck. 16 waves, okay. Correct. 17 then Zuck. There you go. Okay, so, so that is a heck of a lot of stuff we've just shown. Um, thank you very much to um, so many uh, all the team for sharing yeah, us and running through here. that. Like I said, say. if you have those questions, please do drop them in the chat. We'll try and get to as many as but, we can. But uh, we'll let them the finish end. off first, and now, then I'll, uh, um, I'll do my thing. And Black Holy moly. Let's get it, team. I have a ton of thoughts. I was taking notes the whole time. Yeah, there. So that cape does have some particles. It doesn't really show them there. Base capes... They're kind of meh. Real. You know what they look like? They look like the Blade Storm Drape and the Arrow Storm Drape and those that you get from killing trolls um, in Birtharp a little bit. Um, and it's possible they move slightly better. They weren't shown in a, in a, in a perfect light, but I don't think they're fantastic. Um, but yeah, this guy's got some particles. It's got some lava. It's tight. It's fine. It's cool. Look at the armor on it. 57 armor, 43 strength, 2 prayer. Boost over power set costs 650 usual adrenaline. Hits twice. Um, and then this one boosts Deadshot, and then this one boosts Omni Power, making it hit four times. So the hitting four times, they're intentionally trying to synergize with the Staff of Armital. The Fracture Staff of Armital will benefit greatly from this. Um, and that's gonna be a huge magic buff. Um, the buff to Deadshot, it's good in ECB spec, it's not great in Death Swift, so I don't think it's that significant, realistically. It does 70 damage every 1.2 over 8 seconds. It destroys things. Yeah, it's decent, but it doesn't stack with the Swift, so it's not that that good. Um, and then the melee one makes overpower cost 60%. If that also stacks with ultimatums, that'll make it cost 30% with the Ring of Vigor. You take 20% off with ultimatums 4, another 10% with the Vigor, and then uh, it hitting twice is good. Because if you did this in a Lang Sword spec, you could potentially get 220Ks. I don't know what the exact numbers are, but that's interesting. Uh, in a Berserk, of course. Oh, the lack of ranged weapon. I'm totally okay with. Um, range is so ridiculously powerful right now. Like, range is still the strongest style in the game. After this update, it may not be because there are some pretty significant buffs to magic, but range is still ridiculously, incredibly, stupidly strong. So I'm a little concerned about the weapon being exceptionally rare. Like, it could take 200 kills to get the weapon. I think that's a little much. I think that's probably a little overtuned. I get that they want it to be replayable, and, and hopefully it's fun because that's going to be a crazy, crazy grind. 
Uh, and I really hope it's not like 16 waves or 17 waves, sorry, of slow pace, boring, and then a crazy Zuck fight. But it sounds like they've made the wave spicy, which I think is really, really important. Um, Now, here's the, um, the book in the ring. So the ring effects being passive is good. That makes carrot pack a little cleaner, a little easier. That's awesome. Um, Here's what the book does. It has a 6.6% chance of proccing and giving you 20% more damage dealt. People were spamming OP and better than a Grim. Uh, the reason I don't know if it's better than a Grim and the thing that I don't like about the book, and all the books thus far, it's RNG if you get a proc. So I have two thoughts. Thought one is, if it procs every time you, you hit the boss, including bleeds, with melee, you're just gonna do a stupid amount of bleeds. It'll synergize well with a special attack, and you'll have like, let's say you have like 50% uptime, that's a 10% DPS increase. But even 50% uptime sounds like a lot, right? That sounds like an unrealistic amount of uptime, and you gotta remember, it's only a it's a 20% DPS increase for 15 seconds while it's active. What's the DPS increase on a Grimoire? It, it, it's more than that, I think. So anyway, I don't think it'll be best in slot for melee. Um, it won't be best in slot for magic because you need a Grim for the crit stick. And then for range, it could be really strong. Um, it definitely could be very, very strong for range. But uh, for melee and magic, I don't see it being best in slot. Um... So yeah, anyway, I would not freak out about the book. I don't think it's actually that good. Um, now, let's take a look at the Magma Tempest. It's a two-handed magic basic ability. Point and click a tile or an NPC. 5.5x damage. 9.6 seconds. 8 times a 5 by 25. Okay. So it's a 40 to 200% ability. That's actually not that strong. That won't That won't actually be worth... Um, hmm. It'll be kind of worth doing in solos, maybe, depending on if it stacks with Sunshine and stuff, and if it can crit. If it can crit, that's really, really big for the um, FSOA, but it'll be mostly done for, I think, Slayer and groups of mobs. Much better for that, but if it can crit, then that is an absolute game changer right off rip. Um, so they talked about this. This will be a 100% drop from completing the normal mode waves without using any checkpoints. I think that's a really good thing. I'm a fan of that. Um, the other thing too, the quiver, it increases, someone said the quiver is dead content, by the way. They literally said it increases your damage maximum by 4% on anything under 25% life points, which means on average, that is a 1% increase to your max hit, which, uh, that isn't dead content. It's literally best in slot. So, uh, thank you, Twitch chat. <laughs> Zuck is a final wave and he's hard. It's not going to be like Haraken where that's easy, um, or like a standard Jad. I hope it's really difficult. I'm a little concerned it's not going to be that hard. They talked about how people on stream on release are going to be blitzing it. They were kind of referring to normal mode there. I, I would like hard mode to be very difficult. I don't want Crypt Bloom to just make hard mode easy. I would like it to be insanely difficult for the, for the sole reason that we finally have untradeable best in slot. It'd be cool to lock that behind something actually difficult. I don't want to say I'm expecting it to be easy because I don't think it will be, but I'm guessing it's not going to be like Solak release, insanely difficult, crazy mechanical. Although I could be wrong. I would love to be pleasantly surprised. And for now, I just hope it's fun. That's my main thing. So it could be really, really sick. Actually, wait, it shows. Uh, so it's a tier 95, two enemy weapon, 95 strength to wield. Wait, my one attack pure. Oh, that's Pog. I like that. Uh, Ignis Keep deals 62 to 190% damage. Okay, so that's like literally cleave. Six hits of 30 to 105. Over the next 14 seconds. Okay, so six hits. Wait, does it have a cooldown? Be extended by an extra hit up to maximum of five. Okay, so you can get up to 11 hits, averaging like 60% damage. Wait, that's 600 and... Holy, that's 660%. Whoa. It doesn't say if it's a bleed or not. But maybe you could do this before you Zerk, and then it bleeds through your Zerk. <laughs> like, if you did this, chuck a Dismember and then Zerk, that could be really interesting. Yeah, so the 5% is interesting um, on the Zerk necklace. But yeah, that's interesting. Overall, though, I would say um, very interesting reveal. I'm not gonna say it's like a very good reveal or bad reveal. I think it was I think it was super interesting. I think there's gonna be some interesting toys to play around with. I think a lot of this power creep still hinges on there being a fifth boss. 
Um, but outside of that, I really hope it's fun. I'll be there bright and early Monday morning, and we are going to clip it, rip it, ship it, and uh, and then at the end of the day, we're gonna dip and go to sleep. <laughs>